uh, good morning friends welcome to the session on your yeah, practical a live show on the use of sofa statistics statistics open for all uh, this is a free and open source software is a very uh, very simple to use just go to google and type uh, sofa statistics and say enter you will get the website sofa statistics.com you can click so far start as open for all home page and wait for a minute you get a software fine and they have software for uh, mac os and uh, windows os and uh, even linux and ubuntu install just give a click on that the software will be installed the single exe file click click the software will be ready for you, you can use it so very simple to download and very very simple to use and here uh, if you go to uh, uh, features or even downloads, videos, you'll get even some materials on how you can make use of this particular software. Even videos are available. When PDF uh, documents are available, you can go and uh, download those materials. And uh, it's for Windows, Ubuntu, for other operating If you want a source code also, you can take. Okay, Because it's an open source software, so you feel that, sir, I would like to get the source code, the language, so that I will be able to write something rewrite something i want to change the software the look and feel of software something like that no we can uh, make use of it using this source code because it's an open source software fine and if you go to videos uh, uh, they give you some videos on the use of this particular uh, software either there's a quick uh, overview or how to import data or uh, how to import Google Docs spreadsheet and uh, how can you connect uh, this software to SQL database how you can make tables and edit uh, tables how you can make reports how you can make charts how can you choose statistical test how can you share your output now how to filter the table data how to recode data see all these things are there in the video form tutorials are available you can go and uh, download all these things fine and this is about this particular software now let me close the software i have installed the software just a single click this is a home page of the software okay you can see the home page and it has got two panels left side right side the left side we have get starter enter edit data import data report tables charts statistics and the right side we have online help select project preferences run backup and exit fine so as i told you the statistical software will help you to enter or edit data it will help you to import the data from recognized formats it will help you to generate required uh, reports it will help you to generate required charts and you can conduct uh, various statistical uh, tools and get the output and these are the basic operations of any statistical software. And apart from that, you can take a backup of your all the statistical analysis. And you can just come out of software by clicking exit. Fine. Okay. For example, I have done a research. I have given a questionnaire to a good number of respondents. I collected the data. Now questionnaires are with me. I want to enter the data. Okay. I have got questionnaires or schedules, whatever it may be. I want to enter the data. So how to go about click on enter edit data you get this small screen if you want to have a new table you can say new see you got a questionnaire you want to create a new table so click on new and wait you get this screen okay and it is asking for the name for example you have conducted a study on internet so i gave a name internet okay so before you start entering data you should create a kind of a worksheet yeah, plain sheet with only headings, name, age, gender. This worksheet should be ready. If this worksheet is ready, then you can keep on entering data. Okay. So how the worksheet is prepared? The worksheet will have only two items. What is the name of the variable and what kind of data is that? Whether that variable carries a numeric data or it is having a text data or it is an ordinal data, whatever, whatever it may be. See, two things are there. What is the name of the variable and what is the data type? You should prepare here. And if you see this particular screen, number one, so far it is a <clears throat> default uh, 
uh, field which cannot be deleted you can start from here okay for example my first one you want the name of the candidate i type the name and here <coughs> you select text because the names will be always in a textual form you can select next then click enter then you want age of the respondent and here data type you can go and select uh, numeric okay then press enter <coughs> i'm sorry then i want to enter some marks okay uh, maybe first exam marks i click uh, again uh, numeric i say enter so this way you can keep on entering all the questions and you can decide upon the data type Okay, once these two things are over, if you are having 40 questions, you will prepare 40 data lines like this. This is over, then say update. Okay, it says that uh, your new table has been added. Fine, click OK. You see now the plain sheet has come. You can start typing. You take the first questioner, you type what is the name? Okay, Rama. What is the age? He is 23 years old. How many marks has got? 45 marks okay and uh, second one uh, second person kanda okay he has got uh, 30 his uh, age is 34 he has got uh, 70 marks okay then we have uh, suba he's maybe around 35 and she got uh, 90 marks okay and we have uh, Arumugam. okay and we have just press tab to move to the next one uh, this is around uh, 37 uh, tab and he has got around uh, 79 marks okay then we have uh, aravin he is around 40 years he has got uh, maybe uh, 75 marks okay this way you can go and enter data once the worksheet is ready fine do you not have any you don't have any save option here just close it it is saved okay you can close you can come out so first day you type five or six letters and second day you want to open the same file and type the remaining questioners or you have made some mistakes you have not added something you want to add something okay for example i want to add one more field for example i just go to enter edit data i select my file what is the name of the file internet so my file is selected from the drop down menu internet and i say not open i say design if you click design, this worksheet will come. You can go and add or delete things. For example, I want to add one question called uh, gender. I want to add gender. So gender can be uh, numeric. Why numeric? I'm going to alert some numbers. One for male, two for female, something like that. So I just keep it as uh, numeric. Okay. So I added one more field. Okay. Say update. Okay. It is updated. Now let me open the file and click here open the file has come you can see here now one another extra column is that called gender there i can go and type uh, one two something like that fine so before i do that i should tell the computer one stands for male two stands for female i should allot values for the i should allot some labels for the values how to do that keep your cursor over the variable give a single right click a box comes there you can say one is male, two is female. By default, they have given. If you want to change, you can change it also. This is a nominal data. So you can choose a data type. There's a nominal data or ordinal data or uh, number numeric data. See, gender and uh, gender is a nominal data. I just leave it as such. I say update. Say it is saved. Say okay. You can go and type one. Okay. Then. This is uh, Kandasami again, number one, and Suba, maybe uh, then Armums, uh, then, and this way you can go and add, keep on adding all the uh, questioners. Fine. So, this is how you can create a plain worksheet. You can come and enter data. First step is over. Fine. If you want to delete the data, it's very simple. Once you come to enter, edit data, select the table, click delete, the file will be selected and it will be deleted also fine okay this is one thing and secondly some people what they do is that they type all the questionnaire data in excel sheet which is very easy for them we are very much familiar with ms excel so they go to ms excel they type all the required data in ms excel 
So if you have data in some such kind of formats, they can be very well imported into SPSS or this SOFA statistics for that matter. How to do that? Please have a look at uh, this particular screen. Click on import data, left panel, third item, import data, click. It says that it can export uh, and import uh, CSV files, TSV, tab separator value, tablature file, XLS, XLSX, ODS, open document spreadsheet, something like uh, LibreOffice, StoreOffice and all, then Google spreadsheet. So if you have your data typed in any of these formats, those files can be imported into SOFA statistics for analysis. Fine. I just browse, I say browse. I go to desktop and our folder is there, Maya's to search. I have one file called Excel file to import. I select the file, say open. See, the name of the file has come here. Okay, you can click import. It'll ask the question whether you are, uh, worksheet has got a header. Yes, my worksheet has a header. Gender, marks one, marks two. This is my header. So click has header row. Click. Okay. See now successfully imported data as Excel file to import. The file is imported. Say okay. You can close. Now to see the file what you have imported, go to enter edit data. You can click the drop box, this arrow. You get all the files. Click Excel file to import. Say open. The file is ready. So this way, if you have data already typed in some such kinds of uh, file formats, they can be easily uh, imported into SOFA statistics. Is it clear? I think I'm clear with those two things. How to create a worksheet, how to enter data, how to edit data, and how to import data. These things are clear now. Okay, let me close the window. Now next is report tables. How to create tables. Click on report tables. Fine. And uh, I have a file. Let me open the file. The file is uh, descriptive statistics. There is a file called descriptive statistics. Maybe you'll be getting all these uh, files for your uh, practicing purposes. You click on descriptive statistics. Fine. Here, four options are available frequencies, grass types, row stats, data list. Four options are there. Let us see one by one. I, I click by default, the frequencies is clicked. So let it be so. I want to calculate the frequency of various questions, various variables. See, there is a table called uh, my file, descriptive statistics. You can click, click on open to see how many fields are there. So this particular file has got gender, week one marks, week two marks, and nativity. Four variables are there. Fine. So I just saw what are the various fields available in this particular file which I have downloaded. Fine. And uh, I'm going to calculate the frequencies. Just, just below rows, there's something called add. Click on add. It is asking for which variable frequencies to be calculated. I just click gender. I say, okay. You can see here, just come. Why two of them? I have selected two things by mistake. Let me delete one. I'll show you one by one. See, when I selected gender, you can see male eight, female 12. See, immediately replace come. Then under rows, there's something called a config. Click on config, can click total, say okay, so that you'll get total here. So male 8, female 12, total 20. Suppose if you want to add one more, go to rows, add next option, nativity, say okay. You can see nativity also has come in the same table. So this way, you can create frequencies for any number of variables. There one variable with total, two variables, or many variables, you can have it absolutely no problem. So this way you can create very, very simple frequency tables. Once it's ready, what you can do is that, there are options are available. You can export whatever statistical test you conduct. Output will appear in this particular box, the white space. And whatever output is there, this can be exported. You can export the current output, Click on export. It will be saved as an Excel file. For example, I want to save this output. Okay. I click export. You can see here, this asking whether uh, the output is to be exported as a PDF file or as an Excel sheet. I click that uh, Excel sheet. I say export. You can see here, the spreadsheet has been, has been saved to your desktop in the SOFA export June 2. Okay. 
a folder is created and this result is available there in the excel format whenever you want you can open it and you can uh, uh, i just let me close the screen let me close this screen also let me minimize this and let me go to my uh, desktop to show you where that particular folder is there see so far export click that file here uh, excel file is saved you can open the file excel file uh, say yes okay and let us wait for the results so let me try once again i click the file i think uh, let us check it once again why it's not uh, opening opening with uh, microsoft excel mm, do you want to open the file now yes okay see it has result has come okay so you can copy this you can create chart for this you can make it bold you can change the font font style all those you can paste it your uh, uh, file concern wherever you want you can go and paste it so this is how you can save all your uh, exports let me come back to my uh, software let me go to report tables my table so this is a portion where you need to select the file from where you will choose the variables for conducting the analysis the first part of your uh, thing let me make it uh, let me make it bit bigger yes this is the first part where you need to select the file which contains all the questions all the variables if you click open you can see all the whatever fields are entered or whatever data is entered you can see all the fields over here then uh, after selecting frequency we go and select add we give any particular variable result is here okay if you want you can export it okay there's a button called clear if you click on clear the screen will be cleared all the outputs will be clear fine so that is how we can make use of frequencies let me go for cross steps i click the, the checkbox uh, cross steps whenever you want to conduct whenever you want to prepare cross tables of two or three variables you can make use of this particular option so for example uh, under row i want gender i want gender to be in the row side and column i want uh, maybe the nativity so under row i selected one variable under column i selected another variable you can say cross tabulation here okay and here in the row section the config is there click on config you say total click okay total will appear fine the same side columns also config is there go to config you can select total you can select column percentage you can say okay so you will get column percentage now if you want the row percentage once again go to config and click row percentage say okay both column percentage row percentage grand total everything is there so this way you can create a kind of cross tabulation so that is also permitted in sofa so close i'm sorry let me come to report tables and uh, i have come to my file descriptive statistics now i want to create multi level tables how to do that so come to frequencies click add i have gender say okay now i want this gender to be subdivided as per the nativity for example out of male how many are from rural background how many are from urban background so that kind of division i want to have within gender how to do that click add under under row just below rows there is a box called add under click add under and choose the field the nativity say okay you can see here now so male is divided into urban semi urban female is divided into urban semi urban rural if you want to total once again go to config say total say okay the box is ready so this you can have multi level tabulation also can be prepared using this option called frequencies okay i say clear it goes off i told you about cross steps let me talk about row stats so row stats are meant for calculating your descriptive statistics you want to calculate mean median mode standard deviation range when you want to calculate such kind of things you can go for row stats okay after clicking row stats come to columns click add for example i got marks scored by students in the first week i click week 1 i say okay see by default mean is calculator i want to calculate something more so kindly come to columns option go to config see a very very long list is there standard deviation you want a number minimum mark maximum mark range then sum see all these things i want to calculate say okay you can see here 
for the marks we have mean value standard deviation number minimum marks maximum marks the range the sum everything is available so this way you can calculate all the descriptive statistics using this row stats option so please understand this is a format here you select the file here you select the option either frequencies or cross strips or row stats and accordingly either rows or columns you can use the result will be available here in this white space okay and here you can see something like uh, output uh, here uh, view report see it is a place where whatever statistical calculations you conduct here all the tools all the results all the outputs will be stored in a separate file if you want you can choose a different location give a different name all the results will be stored invariably for example i click view report and uh, let us wait uh, okay see whatever i have calculated so far okay all the statistical calculations are stored in this particular file okay fine so view report can be used for that particular purpose now the last one is data list see data list just helps you to list all the data one by one for example i click add under columns i select gender i say okay you can see here so first candidate is male second candidate male third candidate male fourth male so this way question order wise all the variables will be listed you can add one more if you want add nativity fine it says first respondent is a male he is an urban background person second person is a male who is held from urban so that kind of question and wise question wise data you'll get uh, with the help of this data list option so that's what all about uh, generating tables so let me wind up this i click close so we have seen enter edit data import data report tables you are checked already now let's talk about uh, charts how to prepare charts so let me click on charts and this screen appears let me maximize this here many many different kinds of charts are there we have uh, bar chart we have clustered bar chart we have pie chart we have line chart we have area chart we have histogram we have scatter plot we have box and whisker plot so these are different kinds of charts i would like to just demonstrate one or two for example i have selected this pie chart i want to find out how many males how many females are there in my uh, particular uh, research data what the first step you should select the file name i have selected descriptive statistics second step choose a chart type i selected the pie chart and told it ask how the values to be arranged i say let it be value if you want the count and percentage to be shown on the chart you check this box so that uh, number and the percentage will be shown in the chart and which variable is going to be used for this purpose gender so what is the value gender so click on show results and wait for the results the result has come so pie chart is ready can okay, now females 12 60% and males uh, 8 40% so you can copy and paste or you can export to any place and you can uh, save it okay you can take it to excel you can make a modification and you can take it to a place where you want to paste this particular chart this is how you calculate you prepare a pie chart let me show you another one maybe a, a simple a very very simple bar chart let me uh, choose uh, maybe count no problem either count or percentage you can choose count now this time i want to have a chart for nativity okay for nativity say show results okay you can see here bar chart is red urban semi urban rural a bar chart is ready fine okay you can even go for uh, this uh, clustered bar chart i click clustered bar chart i say nativity by gender okay i want to have nativity to represent every bar and in every bar i want to divide the nativity according to gender see nativity by gender okay say show results in say difference here now okay are you getting it urban is divided into male female semi urban is divided into male female so that kind of clustered bar charts also can be prepared based on two values okay so you want to have a line chart click line chart based on count Okay, now marks mark one. Okay, I simply select mark one, and this time I say nothing selected. Okay, only plainly I want the mark. Show results, and you can see the result, the marks of the students. But I want the same marks to be shown as uh, uh, something like male and female. I want to divide this mark. So what you can do the same place, week by 
by gender okay by gender show results now you can see the difference in the output you can see male marks scored by males and uh, marks scored by females both are shown here use count so mark count comes i can go for even percentage i select percent i show the results and you can see here the percentage of marks scored by children students are uh, displayed so these are a few examples of uh, how you can uh, create charts in uh, sofa statistics i think it's clear to you i click close we'll come back to the main home page the last one to be seen is uh, statistics very important one i click on statistics okay once i click statistics this window appears with uh, these many tests how many tests are there only these many tests are there nothing more nothing less sofa provides you the ability to contact only these many statistical tools one way anova i squared pearson correlation spearman's correlation criskel wallis man whitney t test independent t test paired wilcoxon syntrax only these many tests can be conducted in so far you cannot conduct uh, factor analysis cluster analysis dominant analysis discriminant analysis reliability test so these things cannot be conducted in so far so far helps you to conduct only these many tests 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 only nine tests can be conducted to test the um the validity of your hypothesis okay let us see one by one okay to begin with i start with high square i click on high square in this box and i click configure test okay what is high square when you want to compare two nominal variables or ordinal variables you can go for high square test to test whether there is an association between these two variables okay for the first step you should select the file i click this downward arrow and select the file called high square already i have some files high square i want to what are the fields click open you can see the fields two fields are there political party and comments political party i numbered as 1 and 2 1 and 2 one stands for ruling party two stands for opposition party and uh, this comments we asked them whether this lockdown period can be relaxed somebody said okay somebody said no somebody said no comments so i just given the numbers 1 2 3 so this is a independent variable political party is a independent variable okay it is a nominal data 1 2 1 for ruling party 2 for opposition party and my dependent variables comments given by them this also a nominal data i given 1 2 3 yes no no comments okay now i got an idea of the fields i close the file here i have selected the file this is a file name and i have to select the variables what are two variables i got political party and i have got comments this is a independent variable this is a dependent variable fine i say show results and wait for a minute I think something uh, went wrong. Let us try once again. Okay. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The result has come. Okay. I'll close this menu. Mm. Okay. Let us uh, do it once again. I select I square. I go to config test. I select the file called I square. I select the independent variable. I select the dependent variable. Okay, fine. Okay, then I say uh, show results. The result has come here. You can see the screen. How many uh, said yes? How many said no? How many say no idea? And here are the results: p value and high square value and degree of freedom. The p value is point zero zero one. As I told you, you have to compare this value with the level of significance what we have fixed already. I told you universally we have five percent significance. Point zero five is a level of significance. So I have to check whether this p value is more than or less than the zero point five significant level or not. In our case, the calculated p value is less than the level of significance. That is less than point zero five. If it is less than point zero five, then the null hypothesis is rejected. an alternative hypothesis accepted 
So what is an hypothesis? There is no association between ruling party and opposition party with regard to their commands on relaxation of lockdown period. So now it is proved that the null hypothesis rejected. So what does it mean? Alternative hypothesis is accepted. That is, there is an association, there is a significant association between ruling party and political party with regard to their comments on the relaxation during the lockdown period. I think it's clear. Okay, good. Let me uh, close this. So high square is clear. Let me go to correlation. I told you correlation is to be conducted when you got two numeric data and you want to conduct the linear relationship. You want to find out whether linear relationship is existing between these two numerical variables. You can conduct correlation Pearson's. I click configure test. Uh, what is the first step I told you? You have to select the table or file name. What is the file name? I got one file called Pearson correlation. Okay. You can have one file. In one file, you can have all the variables. For the purpose of simplicity, I just made uh, a couple of uh, Excel files. So I selected the file. I want to see how, what are the fields. Click open. What are the fields? Uh, study time and science marks. So how many hours? A child studies in a particular week and the marks scored by him in science. So both are in numbers. So you can go for correlation test. So let, let us conduct on correlation test. What are the two variables? Under group A, select our uh, independent variable called uh, study time. Group B, select our dependent variable called uh, science marks. Okay. What is the hypothesis? There is no difference. There is no correlation between Number of hours spent, number of marks scored. This is our uh, hypothesis. Click on show results. You can get the answer here. Okay. You can see here a, a thick line which shows the um, mean, uh, mean value. And you can see here when the, uh, let me uh, make it a little bigger. Okay. Now I think it's clear. See, when the number of hours spent by the children increases, Correspondingly, the marks scored by them also increases. So it means there's a correlation, but we have to prove it statistically. How to do that? You have to take this p-value. What is the p-value? 0 0.01869. This is to be compared with our level of significance of 0 0.05. And definitely p-value is less than 0 0.05. And so the null hypothesis rejected and the alternative hypothesis accepted. That means there is a significant correlation between study time and the science marks of the respondents. Here you can see the R statistic is 0.721. You can see it is a positive number. It means that there is a positive correlation between study time and science marks. That means when study time increases, science marks also increases. So there is a correlation, there is a positive correlation. And 0.7 is equal to something like a, it's about around 70% correlation, good correlation. Fine. This, that's about correlation. Let me close this. And I can conduct Spearman correlation. When I'm supposed to conduct, when the data, what you have are ranks. You've got two ranks. When you want to compare two ranks, you cannot conduct Pearson. Instead, you can go for Spearman. Click configure test. And here, what is the name of the file? Pearson correlation. And what are the variables I've got? Click open. You can see two are they teacher one, teacher two. Okay. So teacher one student uh, went to teacher one, teacher two. The teachers have graded. That way, eight students went to both the teachers and they were graded. We want to see is there any rank uh, correlation difference between teacher one and teacher two? Is there any correlation between teacher one, teacher two? Fine. Now let me come to my table. I selected the file. Let me select the variables. Teacher 1 and Teacher 2. Teacher 1, Teacher 2. Click on Show Results. You see, the result has come. Okay. You can see here the Teacher 1 uh, and Teacher 2 there. Is a Teacher 1, Teacher 2. You can see whether it's a correlation or not. Okay. You can see here when the score of uh, uh, Teacher 1, see, this is a mean value. So, teach a score of uh, one teacher score is increasing. And the other teacher score is also increasing, but it's not in a good shape. So let us check. Okay. We have to check it statistically. 
just by seeing the graph we may not be able to come come to a conclusion here p value is 0.046 it means that it is less than 0.05 so null hypothesis is rejected and alternative is accepted that means there is a significant correlation between the ranks given by teacher 1 and teacher 2 but there is a negative correlation because the r statistics is minus 0.714 so there is a correlation but the correlation is negative that means when one teacher gives more ranks the other teacher gives less ranks but there is a correlation fine i think it's clear to you let me close the window so i square is over two correlations are over and let me come to this one t test let us do t test now two t tests are there one is independent sample t test none of this paired sample t test fine independent sample test is used when you have got only one set of uh, one independent variable one dependent variable and they are not uh, repeated samples so let me take uh, t test independent let me go to configure test let me choose my file what is the name of the file t test so i selected a file okay now i want to see what are the fields click on open and you can see the fields what is the first uh, field driving time and errors so driving time it has got two levels 1 and 2 1 stands for night drivers 2 stands for day drivers so two those who are driving in the night time and those who are driving in the night time so two different types of drivers the independent variable having two levels what is my dependent variable number of errors how many mistakes they commit when they are driving so we have collected the numbers they are in numbers they are dependent variable so i conduct independent sample t test okay and what is the average variable what is my dependent variable errors okay what is my grouping variable that is what is my independent variable that is my um driving so driving is group 1 night 1 night and group 2 day so my independent variable is errors my dependent variable is driving time this got two levels night time and day time so two levels are there i selected both the levels i say show results and wait for the results and you can see the results here it says p value is 0.001 it means that it is less than the significant level of 0.05 the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative is accepted it means that there is a significant difference between the day dri time drivers and the night time drivers with regard to the number of errors they commit so there is a significant uh, difference and the t statistics is 5.4555 degree of freedom is 14 and if you come down little bit you'll understand something more are there so for example night time drivers their mean error is 8.87 the day time drivers their mean error is 5.75 so there is a significant difference and this is standard deviation minimum maximum scores and this is kurtosis and skewness you can see here both kurtosis and skewness they are between point minus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 so that means the data is normally distributed even you can see this last column 7 normal if this value is more than point 0.05 if this value is more than point 0.05 it means that the data is normally distributed so the data is normally distributed the data is having number uh, in uh, dependent variable independent variable has got only two levels so i conducted independent sample t test fine and here there is something called uh, uh, o'brien's test for homogeneity of variance okay they say that when you got two different groups night drivers day drivers what about the difference variations existing in each group so among the night drivers one difference may be there among the day drivers another difference will be there so this test tells you whether the variance in each group is similar or not there is a, there is a homogeneity there is similarity of the range of variance it should be same it should be similar if the similarity is there if homogeneity of variance is there then you can conduct independent sample t test okay i'll just go for manual thing fine here how to check whether my data is having homogeneity of variance or not it's very simple you just see the results here it is 0.49 if if it is more than 0.05 then it means that the assumption is met you can conduct independent sample t test in our case 
the o brain test for homogeneity of variance is 0.49 it's definitely more than 0.05 and so it is accepted that our groups of data have homogeneity of variance so we can go ahead with independent sample t test there is no problem i think it's clear independent sample t test okay let me close it and let me go to uh, man white new test i click configure test i'll use the same uh, table let me see the uh, fields which i will be using for this particular purpose here you can see club name two clubs are there one is arvind club and another is uh, uh, subha club so i have taken some students who belong to two different clubs for a movie they watched the movie i told them to give ranking for this movie out of 20 out of 50 they rank 1 2 3 second 5th 100th 13th they given ranking so my independent variable has got two levels arvind club subha club two club members this is my independent variable my dependent variable is ranking it is not numeric data it is in ranking it is ordinal data so i cannot conduct independent sample test so i will be conducting man white new test okay now uh, what is my uh, dependent variable my ranking uh, how it's going to be grouped by based on the club they belong to so one is uh, arvind club and another one is subha club two clubs are there so click on show results can see the results here a very very simple result t value is 0.011 definitely it is less than 0.05 that means uh, null hypothesis is accepted or rejected it is rejected because it's less than 0.05 it means that there is a significant median difference between arvind club and subha club with regard to the ranking of a particular movie so there is significant difference so use statistics and here you can see here uh, for one club the median is 36 and the other club the median is 58 so there is a difference and that is proved statistically with this uh, p value i think it's clear to you let me close this window so we have seen t test independent and we have seen man white next i'll go to pad sample t test i click configure test i say open to see the fields so i am taking these two fields okay i have selected some 14 children i gave them one test in the morning when they come to school very fresh i gave them one test and in the evening maybe around 3 o'clock before they go back to home i gave another test i want to check whether is there any difference between the marks scored by students when they write the examination in the morning hours and when they write the examination in the evening hours i want to check whether is there any mean difference so you can see marks scored am in the morning marks scored in the afternoon you see both are numbers both are numbers so you can go for paired sample t test okay so let me close this window i select um, am and pm by default it is there or you can select okay am either am pm or pm a it doesn't make any difference so if one is am another should be pm so i want to conduct a paired sample t test before treatment after treatment before this class after this class in such kind of environment you can go for paired sample t test or correlated sam uh, sample test both are same click on show results and you can see here it is very very simple am the mean value is 6.57 marks and pm the mean value is 4.42 it means that the mean score is higher when they write the examination in the morning hours okay and it has got uh, minimum maximum and uh, how can i prove whether this is statistically different please come up see the p value this point 001 it means that this less than point 05 the null hypothesis is rejected and it means that that is a significant mean score of difference in the marks scored by children when they write the examination in the morning and in the evening this is a t value and this is a degree of freedom i think it's clear to you let me close the window i'll go to wilcox and sign ranks this also same like pat sample test but only things here the data is not in numerical form it is in terms of ranks okay let me select my file okay the same file i click open here two things are the candidate one candidate two see there are 10 teachers those who are evaluating two candidates one candidate goes to all the 10 teachers and second candidate goes to all the 10 teachers we want to see is there any difference between the ranks given to one candidate and the ranks given to another candidate by the respondents okay one teacher 
another teacher same set of uh, respondents same set of students so since they are all ranks they are not marks given by uh, teachers they are the ranks given by teachers so since the data is not a numeric data we go for wilcox and side ranks so what are the two values i want to check candidate 1 and candidate 2 so i selected both the candidates and i click show results and you can see here candidate 1 the median value is 14 candidate 2 the median value is 8.5 so there's a difference but is it uh, statistically significant please come up look at the p value it says that it is 0.02 and definitely it is less than 0.05 which means that the null hypothesis is rejected that is there is a significant difference between the ranking of candidate 1 and the ranking of candidate 2 by 10 teachers so that is our hypothesis which is being tested now i think it's clear same like uh, pat summer teachers let me close it so we have seen uh, pat summer teachers and the wilcox sign ranks and i got two more tests one is anova and another is criskel wallis let me go to anova i click anova i go to configure test let me select the file for anova there is a file called one way anova i select the file let me see what are the fields uh, they have click on open you can see four fields are there let us see first two fields hint type and the minutes two things are there so i divided the respondents into three groups the students those who are having uh, those who have got some hint those who did not get any hints and uh, those who got some kind of hint so three groups are there for example i have given some puzzles to them i have given some puzzles to them something like a jumbled word something like that i divided them into three groups in the first group i told them the first letter as answer as a hint second group i have given the last letter and the third group i have not given any hint so there are three groups of respondents my independent variable is hint type there are more than two levels those those who got first letter as hint those who got last letter as hint those who did not get any letter as hint so three groups of respondents now what is my dependent variable number of minutes in how many minutes they were able to find out the answers for all the jumbled words i have given to them so my dependent variable is numbers independent variable is having more than two levels so you can go for one way anova so let me close it let me come back to this average is minutes group by hint type you can select by hint type and first letter uh, last letter and no letter so it starts from first letter and goes up to no letter so three levels are there i click show results and uh, wait for the results the results come you can see here those who got first letter they finished their uh, they, what is their mean time mean minutes 15.6 last minute they took more time 24 minutes no letter they take some more time 28 minutes so it means that there is a significant difference because only 15 minutes 24 minutes 28 minutes so there is a difference but is it statistically different we have to find out before that you can see here standard deviation and the kurtosis and skewness both are between minus 1 plus 1 that means that the data is normally distributed or you can see column here 7 here all the values are more than 0.05 it means that the data is normally distributed fine let me come up you can see here the homogeneity of variance test shows that the answer is 0.5 it is more than 0.05 it means that the data is the groups we have got three groups of people the variation in each group is somewhat similar there is no much variance so the assumption is accepted we can go ahead with this one way on our test okay that is the meaning of this uh, homogeneity of variance test let me come up uh, to see the final answer you can see between and within see between says that what is the difference exists among the group three groups first letter no letter and uh, uh, last letter okay and within says that the percentage of error which we cannot calculate using this particular statistical tool and between is more 886 and error is only very less it means that uh, our our uh, statistical test is able to reliably convey the uh, results of this test uh, sum of squares you know very well uh, if you multiply if you square the variance and total you will get some sum of squares 
and the mean sum of square is equal to sum of squares divided by degree of freedom you get the mean sum of squares and this is f value and this p value say so the p value p value is 0.001 that is uh, the p value is less than 0.5 if it is less than 0.05 it means that the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative is accepted that means that there is a significant difference among these three groups of respondents with regard to the number of minutes they take to solve the jumbled words so that is the meaning of this point i think it's clear i don't know it's clear to you and let me close this window let me come back to the last test what is the name of the last test this criskel wallis so both anova and criskel wallis both are one and the same the data is numeric data is normally distributed go for one way anova if you have collected the data as a rank or the data is not normally distributed you can go for criskel wallis so i have set up the file click open you can see here see three groups of respondents are there so people want to relax i give them three different techniques for one group i have given some tablets for another group i have taught them some hypnosis techniques the third group i taught them some exercises so three groups of respondents my independent variables have in three levels and after a particular period maybe one month i told them to rank how relaxed they feel now so they have given their ranking so it's not a numeric data it is a rank data i have to go for not one way or no i should go for criskel wallis close it let me come to criskel wallis i have to select the variable what is the variable ranking and what is the group i think it's a relaxation technique three groups are there exercise 2 uh, p so three groups are there tick show results three is there so you can see here exercise 35 hypnosis 27 p 16 that means there is a difference among the groups but how to prove it statistically please come up and look for p value p value is uh, uh, 1.319 e minus 3 okay so it it means that when you say it's point e minus it means it's less than 0.000 it's less than 0.001 and uh, since it is less than 0.05 it is understood that the null hypothesis is rejected and the alternative is accepted it means that there is a significant difference among these three groups of respondents with regarding to the relaxing technique that they have been using it fine so that is the result of uh, this criskel wallis test so fine we have seen all these kinds of tests and the implications and uh, before i conclude i will take just two minutes of my time to tell you one thing here see if you are very clear on which statistical test you have to use you can straight away go for this particular option select the test click configure test and then you can conduct the test absolutely no problem for example you are not clear so whether i should go for ranova or hi square or man whitney or tetels or wilcox and you are not sure about that when you are not sure about which kind of statistical tool you need to apply then you can get the help from sofa statistics here is option second option left side or get help choosing below one option is there so you can use this particular option this software will help you to decide which statistical test you can conduct in a particular environment so let me show you how sofa is going to help you so for example uh, i have to tell the system how many groups are there whether your independent variables having two groups or three groups for example your independent variables having two groups okay and it is asking whether that dependent variable is distributed normally or not normally so you can tell whether it is normally distributed or not it is normal that means you are independent variable is having two levels and it is normally distributed and it tells you you have to conduct independent sample t test so so far statistics automatically calculates and tells you that when you are having two groups when your data is normal you have to conduct t test fine see you have got two groups but the data is not normal the data is not normal you can say it says that you have to select man white mean so software tells you okay for example you are having two groups data is normal but they are paired sample you have got paired data then what is to be done it says that you have to conduct paired sample t test if 
this is not normal you have to go for wilcox and so just by clicking one or two options here this particular software will tell you what status cut test you have to conduct i think it's clear to you now when you are independent variables having three levels okay more than two levels it has got three levels if data is normal you have to conduct anova the data is not normal you have to conduct crystal valleys so just by clicking the options on the left side the software will itself suggest you what statistical test you can conduct on those variables fine let me come down here test show with a this relationship you click that if your data is uh, only nominal data you have to conduct high square if it is a ordered data you have to check whether the data is normal or not normal the data is normal you have to conduct correlation pearson the data is not normal you have to conduct spearman correlation fine so this way this software will help you to decide whether a particular situation warrants you to conduct uh, uh, any one of these nine tests fine right? so let me close this uh, window and you come back to the home page as i told you we have talked about uh, entire edit data import data report tables charts statistics if you want to take a backup you click on backup you save the folder whatever you have done all these days will be saved in the backup and whatever database whatever files you have all those things will be taken back up and click exit it will be uh, come out of the software so this is what all about uh, sofa so you can please uh, download the sofa you can uh, install it and you try to make use of uh, all these options so my best wishes thank you so much